everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you a cheaper and quicker way of just cleaning up the silicone in your bathtub if you don't want to replace it. So for this repair, you'll need uh, a pair of scissors, some paper towel, uh, and I use the scissors to cut the paper towel in strips, a few strips of saran wrap, some gloves, and a bottle of bleach in a spraying container, which would be, say, 50-50 uh, bleach and water. We're in the bathtub area now, and as you can tell, this is all mildewy. And this is the corner of the silicone here, and this is all clean silicone. So we'll show you how to remove this. The first step is to thoroughly spray the area down with your bleach solution. Next, place one of the strips of paper towel on the area. There is a possibility that uh, you could just spray it with bleach and hope for the best, but I find that the longer the bleach has to set on top of the mildewed um, silicone, the more effective it is. And so what we're doing now is we're just putting a layer of bleach down and then putting the paper towel on top of that and spraying the paper towel down thoroughly. And we're putting another layer down on top of the other paper towel and you could just go along the entire perimeter of the tub this way make sure there's it's nice and soggy and nice and close to the silicone and I'm just gonna put a layer here Remember to wear gloves, because this is bleach. And this tub will be used while we're doing this repair. So I'll show you what I do to prevent the bleach from drying out and from water from diluting it any further than it already is. So that's where the saran wrap comes in. Here's the saran wrap. What I'm going to do, once I spread it out, is place it on top of the bleach. And this is going to give the bleach time to sit on the mildewed silicone and kill the mildew. And what I plan to do over two or three days is continue to watch it and as I need to lift up the saran wrap and uh, reapply bleach when necessary. Now you can tell it's quite black even through the uh, saran wrap and the multiple layers of paper towel so it will be interesting to see the result and now over here you have the white and it turns starts starts to turn black around say uh, halfway through this tile here and that will that will be our sort of reference point whether or not this method had any effective 
benefit. Okay, and we'll do a, a follow-up video. After about 19 to 20 hours, I'm surprised to see that um, the uh, mold has completely been removed from this area here where we put multiple layers of paper towels and it's still prevalent there. So what I'm going to do is lift the um, uh, saran wrap up, spray it again with bleach, especially in this area, and perhaps move some of the paper towels from the area that's now white to the area that's still black. And um, just as an added um, point of discussion, um, some of you guys might be wondering, well, why didn't I just use uh, some sort of brush or uh, some sort of uh, cleaner to clean the mildew? And I'll just uh, quickly show you just on the side here. This is just a regular toothbrush. But as you can see, nothing is coming off. I'm just gonna put a little bit of water on it. Nothing is coming off. I mean, you can see there's some, some buildup that's coming off, but you would have to uh, scrub vigorously to the point of damaging the silicone bead before it actually got white again. Now, of course, an added item that I want to say now is that you only want to use this technique if and only if the silicone bead is good on itself. But if it's already worn or cut or needs to be replaced, then obviously you wouldn't do this method. You would just end up uh, removing the old silicone and replacing it or, or re-beading it with new silicone like I did in my earlier video. So I'll uh, remove this saran wrap, I'll respray it and shift it over and we'll film it again. It has been now about 48 hours. And as you can tell, the area here um, was originally white and it slowly started turning black as you move towards the center of the tub. And as you can tell, it uh, has cleared up that area quite nicely. There is still a little bit of yellowing, but that will uh, fade over time as the um, bleach is refreshed and it uh, is allowed to work for a longer period of time. A couple of helpful hints. Uh, the first is, if necessary, and the, the mold is very stubborn, I would recommend respraying the area um, maybe repeatedly every few hours or every six hours so that um, it, the bleach is more effective. Um, the other thing that uh, I should also recommend is do not just spray the tub without putting this layer of um, paper towel and covering it with some sort of plastic material. I use saran wrap. The reason why is because if you do uh, just spray it it is quite volatile and it's very damaging to your lungs and it will get into the air quite easily and uh, make the washroom quite unusable. One thing that uh, I did uh, recognize quite uh, earlier on is when I told you that we could reuse the paper towel but as you can tell it's well it is possible to reuse it in my suggestion to everyone is that uh, they actually put new paper towel down because it t tend to rip and tear. So as you can see, while I'm removing the paper towel, most of the mildew has been removed. And there are certain areas that still need work, but I another application of the bleach will definitely whiten that up and clear that through. And now I should stress that this is all with just the bleach working with no toothbrush or other mechanical agitation occurring. So we'll just continue it through to the rest of the tub. Now you could have done this paper towel the entire tub all at one time and then um, waited the full 48 hours but I just did a section of it to show you what the results would be. And I didn't want to use up too much saran wrap, so I'm doing it piecemeal. 
The other uh, aspect that I'm concerned about is that this tub is being used while I'm doing this repair. Uh, therefore, uh, doing an entire section uh, might just result in it also being f all falling off. We are back at 72 hours and I would like to declare the repair a success. All of the mildew, as you can see, we started here and this was all white. And as we moved along here, it was all black, but now it's all white again. Now I'm gonna remove the, the saran wrap. <clears throat> And as you can tell, the paper towel really can't be reused. I had thought in my initial video that it could be, but basically it gets so um, dirty, wet, soggy, and ripped up that it's no longer useful. So as you can tell, it started, the, the bleach has killed all the mildew from here, and there's still a little bit here, and this was the tail end of it. So what we would do now, as you can see, the uh, bleached area, the unbleached area. And as you can see, it's made quite a difference. Now what we would do is we would just cover the rest of the mildewed areas. Make sure you cover them with saran wrap and uh, wait the 24 to 48 hours. Now note that this tub and shower was being used during the repair. Therefore, the bleach was diluted after each use of the tub. Your results should be better and faster, especially if the tub and shower is not being used. One helpful hint is if you put a, a small heater uh, in, the, in the washroom, what will end up happening is a lot of the grout lines and a lot of this area will dry out. And when you spray the bleach, it will be absorbed and um, into the grout lines a lot better than I could do it. Thanks for watching. We welcome you to join us on our journey by subscribing. Any comments or questions, please leave them below. Bye for now.